Hello universe. Today I wanted to recommend you two um, undergraduate level textbooks on probability and statistics. The first is, a, is an introduction um, to a probability by Anderson, uh, Sipilainen, and uh, Valko. I apologize for mispronouncing the names. This is an excellent textbook and I used this textbook in my um, my first introduction to probability course as an undergraduate in mathematics. Now, after uh, this textbook, you'll have some basic handles on the terminology and some of the um, basic definitions and techniques used in probability theory. And then you're ready to tackle a more difficult textbook, uh, Introduction to Probability and Mathematical Statistics by Bain and Engelhart. This is the real big textbook I wanted to recommend to you all today. And this is a great textbook. Um, it is a little bit difficult, especially as an undergraduate, to cover. It's not at the graduate level, though. It's not, um, it's not as difficult as a graduate textbook on probability uh, because there's no measure theory um, requirements and there's no measure theory in this book. But it is, in a, it is much more rigorous than a normal, um, you know, undergraduate statistics book that you'll find. So it's a, it's a lot more mathematically rigorous um, using some, um, some, some definitely a lot of the tools of calculus and, um, and using the, the tools of calculus to, to their fullest extent in terms of, of um, in terms of the statistic statistical theory. Okay, so let's just look at the table of content of these table of contents of these books. So introduction to probability. Um, we have this table of contents. By the way, this is the textbook that I'm covering on the channel right now. So um, let's take a look here. Chapter one is experiments with random outcomes. It's going to set up some definitions of sample space and probability events, um, et cetera. And then it's going to introduce you to, to some combinatorics and some really good counterintuitive exercises that'll get you thinking about um, some of the difficulties of probability. And there's a lot of combinatorics that show up with these discrete random variable problems. Chapter two is going to be conditional probability and independence. Chapter three will be on random variables. Chapter four covers approximations of the binomial distribution. Chapter five is transforms and transformations. Chapter six is joint distribution of random variables. Chapter seven is sums and symmetry of random variables. Chapter eight is expectation and variance in the multivariate setting. Okay, so we get into the bivariate normal distribution. Chapter nine is tail bounds and limit theorems. And then chapter 10 is conditional distribution, okay? And in fact, in my probability course, we covered, I believe, almost all of these chapters in uh, one semester. It was an excellent course, very well taught by uh, Dr. Sean Grothaus, who is actually on, on YouTube now. So uh, I'll shout out his channel. He has a pretty large uh, um, YouTube channel, and he's an excellent uh, professor. He taught this course to me when I was an undergraduate student. He taught me an introduction to probability, and he was really good at explaining concepts in a really in a, in a way that was easy for students to understand. So it, just an excellent uh, professor that I had, or an excellent instructor, and, uh, and yeah, ch go check out his, his YouTube channel uh, by searching up Dr. Sean Grothaus on YouTube. Um, now, this textbook, I also want to cover the table of contents. This is the textbook that I probably would recommend um, above um, all else in terms of if, you're, if you have a bit of a stronger math background, um, let's say you're pretty, f uh, you're pretty comfortable with advanced calculus, then you'd be ready to tackle this textbook. It is going to be difficult um, for an undergraduate to read, but it is not at the same difficulty as a graduate textbook, and it's just a really great textbook, especially all the exercises. When I took a course in mathematical statistics, so this, the follow-up to this Introduction to Probability course, we have a course in mathematical statistics called um, An Introduction to Statistical Inference, and this is the textbook that gets used, and I had to solve a lot of the problems in this textbook, like, like a lot of them. Every chapter has a ton of exercises. They're all great, and if you do the exercises, you'll really learn a ton about statistics. So I'd highly recommend doing the exercises in this textbook. And let's just look at the table of contents here. The table of contents is going to give you an idea of all the critical topics that are being covered. So chapter one is probability. So it's going to review the key concepts of probability. 
Chapter two is random variables and their distributions. Chapter three is special probability distributions. Okay. Chapter four is joint distributions. Chapter five is properties of random variables. Chapter six, functions of random variables. Chapter seven, limiting distributions. Chapter eight, statistics and sampling distributions. Chapter nine, point estimation. Chapter 10, sufficiency and completeness. And then chapter 10 is the end of a first of a one semester advanced mathematical statistics course. So if you get through chapter 10, that's the first semester of a mathematical statistical inference course. And we're moving on to a second semester course, which is on um, statistical inference. So chapter 11 is gonna be interval estimation. Okay, so confidence intervals here. Chapter 12 is test of hypothesis, so hypothesis testing, another really important topic. Chapter 13, contingency tables and goodness of fit. Chapter 14, non-parametric methods. Chapter 15, regression and linear models. Chapter 16, reliability and survival distributions. And then we have these important um, appendices here. In particular, appendix B and C have important tables um, that you're going to need to solve a lot of the exercises. Okay. Now, um, and also you can find those tables online. Now, um, I also like that it has um, all of the, at the start of the book, it has all the important um, distributions that you're going to need and kind of just some facts about their, their PDF, their mean, their variance, even their moment generating functions um, and, and the, the parameters that define these various distributions. So the, these, it's a really nice resource to have um, access to this information. So we have a T distribution, F distribution, beta distribution here. And then if we go to the very end of the book, it's going to have more. So, um, yeah, so it has, you know, uniform, normal, gamma, exponential, two-parameter exponential, double exponential. Again, just listing their notation parameters, continuous PDF, mean, variance, and MGF. And then um, it also has binomial, Bernoulli, negative binomial, geometric, hypergeometric, Poisson, and discrete uniform. So for reference, what I've covered out of this textbook is I've covered... Um, I have covered chapters 1 through uh, 12, so all the way to hypothesis testing, okay? So really, it's a little bit hard to follow, okay? So it's, it's a great textbook, but if you're not used to reading it, it can be a little bit dense and a little bit difficult upon first reading. So I think it's great experience for those people who are not as... Um, who haven't read really difficult math textbooks, it's kind of a, uh, it's not really difficult, but it's like, it's more difficult than what you're going to be used to reading if you just uh, haven't taken a uh, really uh, graduate math course before. So it's, I would say that it's like in between a graduate and an undergraduate level. But the real power and beauty of this book is that it's going to cover a really a lot of critical material. It's going to cover that material at an appropriate level of difficulty um, and generality. It's going to prove a lot of important claims that it makes about statistics. It will provide uh, mathematical proofs and um, to back them up. And then the exercises. So there's a ton of exercises for every chapter. And those exercises are going to give you, that's the most important part. They're going to give you a ton of experience working with the statistical methods that are taught in this book. Now, I believe there are also answers to selected exercises, but I could be wrong. No, I'm wrong. So there are not answers to selected exercises, but you can likely find those um, online in order to check your work, okay? And um, yeah, no, there, there aren't answers to selected exercises, but, but um, even, even so, even though there are no answers to selected exercises, the exercises aren't too difficult, okay? They're not super difficult. They're just really good exercises that really test your understanding, okay? So it's not, it's not like a graduate textbook in terms of the difficulty of the exercises. They're not super hard. They're just gonna give you good practice um, with a lot of the definitions and tools and basic, basic statistical tests that you're gonna need to know how to do if you're interested at all in in mathematical statistics. All right, have a great day.